Sitting here with Robin, a.k.a. Skinny Black Girl, a very talented writer out of Cleveland, Ohio. What's your persona, Robin? Um, my persona, I would say it is authentic. And when I say persona, I mean my writing style, and I guess they're kind of one of the same. Um, but yeah, it's authentic. Like, I'm very honest, sometimes to a fault. But um, it's authentic. I would say that it's quirky, because I'm weird, and I'm not afraid to know that I'm weird when I write. Um, I will also say that sometimes it's a little bold, because I'm willing to put things out there about myself that some people would find uncomfortable. But I'm just really, uh, what's another word, transparent. Like, I'm not going to hide from it. I say what I say. I give a piece of my life. And, you know, it's up to people to interpret how they wish. But, yeah. So I guess those are the ways I would describe my so usually when I um, profile people, I ask them about their sneaker or their shoe choice. But we're going to change it up a little bit differently this time. So um, in the past or, you know, like, um, as of now, if you got pieces that you have wrote, what are your top three pieces and kind of elaborate on why they're your pieces? Okay. I am a Libra, which means I'm notorious for indecisive. So as I wrestled with this question, I just told myself I was going to just give you the first three that came to mind when the camera was on. Um, so I would say that one of them is a fiction piece that I recently wrote for school. And it's called Grammar Lesson. And it's about a black girl who, and she's a little bit like me in that she is very smart, but she goes like an the public school. And she gets into it on her first day of high school with this girl, you know, this girl thing that because she talks properly, that she talks white. And so what ends up happening is that this girl who's very loud mannered and very smart, like she gets into this fight. And she ends up taking shit in the face of the and yeah, so that's one of them. Um, another is, um, it's a blog post I wrote in 2007, and it's called, I'm going to say it was called Real Talk, and it was based on a song that I heard by a little brother, and it poses this theory that a woman's life is love and a man's love is life. And well, I remember when I heard it, and I'm making it 23 or 24 at the time, it was very profound. It made all of my interactions with me make sense. And I remember I wrote that post. And yeah, I just remember that being like a serious awakening moment for me. That kind of changed the way I wrote about relationships. It changed the way I kind of covered my relationships. Um, and the third one was probably when the first time I wrote about that, first time I wrote about 2008 when I took and I think because it was so cathartic, like once I got it on paper, it was the first time I actually said it out loud anyway. And so I got to look at it and it was like, okay, this is what happened. I kind of had to own it from there. I knew I had to do something about it. So yeah, those are my top three that come to mind at the moment. What about shoes? Are you a shoe fanatic? You know, I'm not a shoe like fanatic. Like heels or anything? I'm not a shoe fanatic, but I do like shoes. Okay. Um, my favorite pair of shoes that I own right now is a pair of Okay, nicely put. So, anything in the work for your blog? Uh, any future projects for you? Well, my main project right now is graduate school. I am working on a Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing, which I'm getting in a consortium program between Cleveland State, University of Akron, Youngstown, and Kent. So, it's called Northeast Ohio and Essay. I started this semester. I'm going part time, so it's a long term goal. And then also, I still post on my blog, www. Any Twitter handle? Oh, my Twitter handle, that is Skinny Black Girl. So there's no the there. So at Skinny Black Girl. That's correct. Okay.